Now, comedian Ed Gamble has been forced to alter an advert for his upcoming tour after TfL bosses raised concerns it could promote obesity. The original poster showed the podcast star eating a hot dog, which he was forced to replace with a cucumber. And it isn't the first time Tube bosses have cracked down on junk food-related ads. Last year, posters promoting the West End show Tony and Tina's Wedding were banned because they featured the main characters on top of a wedding cake. Well, joining us now is comedian Mike McLean. Mike, the nanny state's gone way too far, hasn't it? I mean, this, these posters weren't even advertising food. I, I was actually um, on the tube the other day and I saw that poster and uh, I didn't immediately think, oh, I've got to get, that rid of, get rid of that photograph. It's going to make me want to eat 20 hot dogs put on weight. I just thought, well, clever poster. Uh, indeed, and he's replaced it with a cucumber now. Uh, but the, what's funny is, so he's got this uh, apron on, which is full of mustard and ketchup and everything. So there's a cucumber there <laughs> with a load of kind of hot dog condiments all over him. So it's kind of bizarre now. But uh, what I'd ask you, Mike, uh, I know you're not from uh, London, but you come down here a lot. Uh, you're from Manchester, we know that. Big City fan. Did you know, by the way, Mike and I got taught how to uh, have etiquette once. We'll come back to that. Have etiquette? Well, you know, how to behave <laughs> with it etiquette. For me. Did we did. Did we went for, a, week. we went for a weekend in Scotland to learn how to speak properly and how to say... Well, they didn't yeah. teach you that first it, very well, it, did they? We both failed the course. <laughs> However, Mike, you're down in London Completely. a lot. Uh, what the hell has obesity got to do with Transport for London, the Mayor's uh, Transport Department? It's, it's got nothing, Kevin, and this is the thing that really, really gets my goal. It's one person's opinion who is actually speaking for everybody else. So he's basically, he's seen that picture and gone, do you know what? I think that's going to cause obesity. I'm going to speak on behalf of everybody else, and I want to get rid of that. And to me, that's just complete ignorance. Nobody, I can't imagine, I, I don't, I'd put a thousand pound on it, Kev, that nobody has gone into, into the tube, seen that picture, and thought, oh, no. That's going to offend somebody. And that is the thing with comedy today, Ken. There's, there's, there's these hands that are literally going around and killing comedy. They're literally killing comedy. And I can imagine Ed getting that phone call and just going absolutely crazy. But I also think he'll probably have got another 20 minutes for that show out of that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's comedy in itself, actually. You could, I think the first person <laughs> to script a comedy based upon this sort of stuff would probably have a best selling show. Yeah. Well, he will now. I'd probably sell out now. Yeah. And if I was going to see that show, I'd get everybody to come with um, cucumbers. Um, and, and do you know what? It's like your Annie said in that last caller. Whoever made that decision is just a pillock. Absolute first class. In fact, could you I'd send him two tickets to come and see the show and then spend the 20 minutes just roasting him? I'd put him right on the front row and then literally have the original poster uh, and then just and I, I'd go to town on him. Yeah, I, I mean, next time you've got a show in London, Mike, you know what to do. Put a, make a poster with a bloody great sort of a breakfast fry-up on it or something. Sadiq Khan will ban it gonna... and then everyone will be talking about you and your show will be a sellout. How about that? Well, that's the, that's the thing, Kev, is that we now in this country, we're just trying to please everybody and we're actually pleasing nobody. Yeah, And, that, and that's point. the thing, you know. And I did, a, I did a gig the other week, I did this joke that... And it was 300 people. And I did this one joke and everybody laughed. This woman came to me at the end and said, oh, I like your routine, I like your set. I said, oh, thank you. I think you should take that last joke out. Now, normally, you'd go, all right, OK, and move on and not... But I said to her why, and she told me, and I said, look, let me think about this. If I take that one joke, there's 200, 300 people in there, 299 people found that joke funny. But the one person that didn't find it funny was you. Yeah. And you want me to take that joke out, so the next time I do another show, I have to take that joke out, so 299 people, 300 people are not going to see that or hear that joke because of you. So you're speaking on behalf of everybody. Yeah, it's, it's... Uh, and then I tell her what to do. Exactly right. I mean, the, the, the point is a lot of good jokes are based around offence. You know, I often think if somebody's not offended, it's probably not funny. Exactly. But you are, Mike. Uh, great to talk to you, mate. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Mike McLean there.